Bwana Yesu asifiwe hapa hapo nyumbani. Basi tunawakaribisha katika ibada yetu ya Jumatatu. Ibada ambayo kama kawaida tungekuwa tunaifanya kule manyumbani, lakini kutokana na vile hali zilivyo tunaifanya hapa tukiamini kwamba kwa pamoja tunakwenda kubarikiwa ijapokuwa mnaipokea na tuombe. Baba Mwenyezi Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunailinua na kulitukuza jina lako takatifu. Tukisema ni asante Bwana kwa ajili ya siku njema hii ya leo Jumatatu ya leo. Tunanyenyekea kwako wakati huu tunapoanza ibada yetu ya leo. Tunaomba Mungu ukashushe roho wako mtakatifu akapata kututawala, akapata kutuongoza, akapata kutuelekeza na hata kutuwezesha haza zaidi wakati wa kulisikia neno lako mfama afame. Baba tunambarikisha mnanaji wetu wa leo mikononi mwako. Tunaomba kwamba Bwana ukampake mafuta na ujumbe ulioweka ndani yake Bwana ukaweze kumkumbusha na ukampe usemi ulio wa sawa ukampe usemi ulio wa kweli mfama afame ili kwamba atakapolinena neno lako likaweze kuwa rahisi masikioni mwetu tukapate kulielewa na tukapate kubarikiwa nalo tukapate kuinuliwa nalo na tukapate kuhimizwa nalo ili kwamba siku zote katika maisha yetu mfame ukazidi kuinuliwa na ukazidi kutukuzwa na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us pray for the word. Our loving heavenly Father, Lord God Almighty, we bless your holy name, Father, for what you've done amidst of us, O oh God. And this very moment, Father, we come before thy holy throne, beseeching thee, God Almighty, to quicken our hearts and our spirit, to be able, God, to receive your word. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our oh Lord. Amen. Welcome to the word of the Lord. Uh, today being Monday, that we normally fellowship in our houses, but due to the uh, uh, prevailing conditions, we are able to reach you through online. My name is Leonard Msalambe. I love the Lord. He's my personal savior. I'm happy and blessed this evening for the Lord is faithful indeed in my life and in my family. Today, we are going to share the word of the Lord and we are saying that the power to hold on, the power to hold on, as in, in saying, as much as the circumstances may not be, uh, may, may, may not be for us, but we shall have the power to hold on despite the challenges. And therefore, we are going to read uh, from the Bible, uh, James chapter five, James chapter five, beginning from verse 2 through 8. James chapter 5, beginning from verse 2 to 8. Remember, my brethren, those who are following us, us online, we are sharing the power to hold on, the power to hold on when anything is not against, against us, we shall have the power to hold on and to press on and to see the other side, which is better for us. James chapter 5 verse 2 says James chapter 5 verse 2 says Sorry, it's James chapter 1 James chapter 1 verse 1 verse 2 to 8 Sorry, James chapter James chapter 1 verse 2 to 8 says My brethren count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation Knowing this, that trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have the, the, her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that he giveth to all men liberally, and, and, and prayeth not, and it shall, not, it shall be given to him. But let him ask in faith nothing wavering, for he has... Wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. Verse 7 says, 
For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in his ways. Let us read Chronicles chapter, Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles chapter 32, Second Chronicles chapter 32, verse 8, only one verse. Second Chronicles 32, verse 8. It says, With him is an army of flesh, flesh, of flesh, but for us is the Lord our God to help and to fight our battles. And the people rested themselves upon the words of Hezekiah, the king of Judah. Praise be to the Lord. The, the word of the Lord uh, is coming to encourage us this evening that we are passing a very challenging times in our lifetime. We are passing liar, we are passing challenges. We are surrounded by the cloud of a cloud of challenges. The enemy is raising again. What therefore shall we have to say that we have the power to hold on? the power to march forth, the power that will enable us to reach and cross over to the other side. And you see, we are, we are encouraged by the word of, by the word of James, right, Paul writing to James, say, count it all joy, brethren, when you fall into temptation and trials, for, he, for the, the, through the trials your faith is perfected. And your faith is, when it is perfected, you, are, you have that reals, you have the power to develop a character that will please God. So here he's telling us that uh, when somebody says, Msalame, be, be encouraged, be, count it all joy, Msalame, when you fall into temptations. When you fall into temptation, the Bible says me that I'm encouraged, I'll, be, I'll, I'll have the power or I'll develop and the patience, I'll develop the, the faith, I'll develop the character, that of God. So we are saying here that, and when you read Second Chronicles uh, verse 32, 8 says, them that you are seeing them there are in flesh. Praise be to the Lord. Praise be to the Lord. Them that you see are actually in the flesh. But them that are coming with us are from the Lord. And therefore, in any situation, whatever comes from God fighting for us, the battle will be won. Praise be to the Lord. Meaning that when, when we are with the Lord, when we are with God, when, and as we, when we, when we, at your own time, you can read Job chapter 19, he was for the heart of God. And he gave and destroyed all animals. Only one servant will live, and the only servant was able to take the message to Job. That I was looking for the shepherd, and the animal were destroyed, were all eaten by, by the lions. And then when the, the children were having part in the house, and that house fall down, and all children were destroyed. And as you go on and on and on and on, Job was left with only his own wife. But the funny part of it is that the wife who was actually supposed to encourage Job, the wife that was supposed actually to encourage Job and even give him faith, and in the scripture it says, why can't you curse your God and die? That is a wife. Say, why can't you curse your, your God and die? And Job said, you foolish human. Praise be to the Lord. Praise be the Lord. So we see, we see, you ask yourself, what did Job have so that he managed to persevere, he managed to stay the way he is, and he never seen throughout his trial. There are about four things that we have seen or we can see and even share today that enable us, will enable us to, over, to, to, to persevere and of course to come out to the other side with the blessings of the Lord. Number one, Job and even Paul is telling us that, you see, he had the capacity, God had given him the capacity or the ability to endure, to endure all the trials. He had given, uh, we can call it an anointing, 
anointing that you can able to endure the trials, the anointing that can endure the suffering. Job had this anointing. And he said that, you woman, foolish human, can you count what God has given us? How can I cast my God and die? I'll be sinning. Praise be to the Lord. So the thing that we see here, God had given Job the anointing of perseverance, the ability to persevere so that as he perseveres, he will not make sin or commit sin. Praise be to the Lord. So the capacity to, the capacity to, to persevere or endure, how can we get it? How, the, how can we get it? The only secret that I learned from Job is that he was close to God. He was close to his maker. And he says, as much as I'm in this situation, my God's re my Redeemer liveth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, my God liveth, my Redeemer liveth. Meaning that I have hope. I have hope that my God whom I serve, I have hope uh, that the God that I have faith in, I shall uh, deliver me from all this trial, from all these sufferings. God will deliver me. So we are seeing here that, number one, the ability to endure, the ability to, uh, to, to have the capacity to endure or to, to persevere is coming from the anointing of God. And how often do some of us lack of it? When we are tested and trial in a very petty issues, we tend to ever. Praise be to the Lord. And that's what we have seen Job in James chapter 1 verse 6 that you should not be double-minded or even wherever in our minds. For if you ever you become unstable, you become double-minded. And in the kingdom of God, there is nothing like double standard. There's nothing like double-minded. It is either you're for God or you're from the other side. So we are seeing here the anointing that God gave Job, the anointing that can give you and me, it is even available today. As much as we are Things are working against us. God will give us the anointing. Praise be to the Lord. Praise be to the Lord. God will give us the anointing uh, to give us the capacity to endure all the trials, to endure this corona issue, to endure what perhaps we are passing through. The Bible says that them that are in Christ Jesus, them that are in Christ Jesus, they shall not be shaken. They shall be no, not be shaken. Uh, for seconds. So what we see here, as I've said, the anointing to persevere. And another thing that I see here, Job, you see, Job was talking to God every minute of his life. He, was co he had committed himself totally to God. And he says, as much as I am, my body is full of souls and every, my, my, my all riches are gone, my God still liveth. Praise be to the Lord. Praise be to the Lord, saying that as much as the devil has attacked me, as much as the devil has taken all the riches from me, I still have a perfect relationship with God. I have, I have God with me. I have my father, I have my daddy, I have my maker, my creator, who can take charge of my affairs. Praise be to the Lord. And another thing that we see here is that apart from being close to God and talking to God, that was prayer. He was praying to God every moment. He was asking God for guidance. He was asking God for counsel. He was asking God for favor. And indeed it came to pass. All that time he was, the job, of, job suffered. The Bible tells me that he, he, when the period ended, he was double rich, praise be to the Lord. The children, he gave back to children again. And life became more normal and even better than before. So what we are saying today is, my tomorrow is better than today. My yesterday is, is, is better than tomorrow. So we are saying that uh, if we have that anointing to overcome or to endure the challenges and to have the anointing to the capacity to overcome the challenges and then you communicate to God, you pray every day and you say, God, here I am. As much as I have these challenges and this comes, God, I need your divine guidance. I need your counsel, God. I need you to take me through. In my own, I cannot make it. In my own, I have no ability to overcome this. So you're talking to God. So as much as you're talking to God, as much as you're talking to God, we see that the, 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 the next item that I see from Job is that he had hope. He had hope. 
And this hope was to him, it's like, all over, I, I, I have the hope that even if I am in this situation, I'm crossing over to the better side. I'm crossing over to the better, more abundant place. And another thing that we see, apart from having hope, this Job had faith in God. He had faith in God saying, yes, I might not see in the physical eyes, I might not see in my physical eyes, but in my spiritual realm, no matter how long it's going to take, my, my, my tomorrow is better. I have faith in my God. I have faith in my creator because he'll, he'll add more. He'll add more in my life. He'll add more into my, into my bosom. And this is what we are saying, that indeed my tomorrow is better than my today. And how can we do that? In the theme of this year, Emmanuel Kengelen, we are saying, be courageous. Praise be to the Lord. Praise be to the Lord. He's saying, be courageous. In Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 8, he says, be courageous. And when you read the same Jeremiah verse, chapter 1 verse 12, he says, for I'll follow my word and perform it. Praise be to the Lord. You see, apart from having faith and hope and even that anointing to endure, there is that element of being courageous. Praise be to the Lord. Praise be to the Lord. You see, as much as you're full of armory and everything, if you don't have that courageous, if you don't have that boldness to, to, uh, to, to face the enemy, the enemy can catch you. When you read Je Joshua chapter 1, verse 1, when he was given his hand over by Moses, take the children of Israel from, from Egypt to the promised land. The Bible says, that God is telling Joshua, be courageous, be bold and courageous. Hallelujah. Be bold and courageous. And he says, wherever you shall feed, you step your feet, you shall occupy, you shall possess. Praise be to the Lord. That is the promise of God. That he's telling Joshua that wherever you shall set your foot on, you shall possess that land. So today, as we as we uh, as we are full of the the challenges that we are saying, the Bible is reminding us of our year's theme that be courageous my brother be courageous my sister the battle yes you can hear the voices of the battle the voice of the guns shooting up on the of the enemy but the bible is telling me today that i should be courageous to be courageous is what you put all yourself in wholesomely your mind your spirit your body and you focus to god and you say because god is in me uh, i have the i have the ability or rather have the audacity i have the power to proclaim what belongs to me praise be to the lord praise be to the lord so in summary we're saying this brethren that the power to hold on the power to hold on is the ability, the ability to go forth, the ability to go beyond, beyond the enemy, the ability to go beyond the trials, the ability to go beyond the, 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 the endure, you endure circumstances. That's why Paul is telling James, count it all joy, my brother James. That if you are tried, uh, if you are put in many trials, know that. The word of God is coming to be accomplished in the word. So this morning, as we do the summary, you ask yourself, Salame, how can I have that uh, power to hold on? I'm so pressed with my businesses. I'm so pressed with my family issues. I'm so pressed with everything around me. How can you tell me that I press on? I, have the, I, have, I humbly ask you, you have the power. You have the power to press on if only you have faith, if you have hope, if you pray, if you are courageous, if you take action and say, I'm getting out of my comfort zone. Yes, I'm suffering. Yes, I'm going through this. But God is enabling me. He's lifting me from, uh, from his what? From, he's taking me to his bosom. He's taking me to his bosom. He said, come here, my, my child. I have better things for you. Praise be to the Lord. And then you can summarize Psalm 23. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. 
He leadeth me in a green pastures and cool waters. Even if I pass through the valley of death, the shadow of death, I shall not fear. For his rod and staff comfort me. Surely, masses shall surely masses shall endure in my my house. That is David said. So in all this, I'm saying this that let us embrace the word of God and say that as much as as much as ask God to give us the ability to endure, trials will come. Temptations will come, yes. But as they come, we are actually found in the blood of Jesus. When you read Revelation chapter, I believe 10, 12, 11, it says that they conquered the enemy through the blood and the testimony of the word. So it is through the word and the testimony that we can, we can overcome the enemy. So in summary, I'm saying to encourage you this morning, or this evening, sorry, that be courageous. And when you read Jeremiah 1, 8, 11 says, God will follow his word. And as he follows his word, he'll confirm and perform his word. Meaning that if you are courageous, God will order your steps. Praise be to the Lord. If you are courageous and you have faith and you have hope, God will take you to his bosom. Say, come here, my child, and I will take hope. And then you say, you know, for somebody to have hope is like, what am I hoping for? What is it that is in store for me? When you read Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, for I have good plans for you, a good plans for the good for your betterment, for your future betterment. This is God. And he says, for them that trust him, this is a promise. And as we conclude with the courageousness, believe in the covenant of God, promises of God. The promises of God are there for us. That I am Salame, I can come to God and tell him, God, here I am. As much as, as much as I'm walking, I need, I need you anointing. I need your guidance. I need your guidance and counseling. I need you, God, to show me the right way. Praise be to the Lord. So, uh, my viewers, as you're following on the, on the stream, the thing is that we, when, we embo when we engage in the word of God, when we, God gives us the anointing to, uh, anointing to persevere or to endure, when we talk to God, communicate to God, when we have hope in Him, when we have faith in Him, when we have uh, the courage, the courage to face the enemy, when we believe in the promises of God, all shall be well. Despite the challenges you are in, despite the problem that we are having, all shall be well. So. I'm finishing by saying this. When you go home on your, at your own time, you can read 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 16, at your own time. But the, the, the main issue, the main uh, statement is there that uh, the children of Israel are facing an enemy. And here God is telling them, them that you see them today here are just made. But them are for us, are from the Lord. Praise be to the Lord. Meaning that you see them here, there are many years, the great army. But the army of the Lord is greater than the army you see here. So I want to encourage you this evening that. Be it in a situation that you are in, you are engaged by the enemy. Believe that the enemy you are seeing there in your physical and spiritual eyes is smaller, is very petty before God. The earth, our maker, our creator, our, our God is greater than the enemy that you are seeing. So I ask you by the masters of God, collect yourself, have faith in God, move for, before the Lord, pray before the Lord, and I, I guarantee you that the Lord will, will deliver you. The Lord will see you through despite all challenges. Praise be to the Lord. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, as we wind up, wherever you are, if you, can, if you can donate anything, if you can donate anything to assist 
the persons in need that are on behalf of the curate and on behalf of the church administration, the office is open. You can bring, you can bring whatever you want to bring. You can bring rice, you can bring maize flour, you can bring, so that we can assist them that are actually not going for work. Them that are actually, uh, they've lost their jobs. So whatever you have, our church secretary is there every day. He can receive what there and submit it to the church council and it will be distributed accordingly. Praise be to God. Also, if you have your portion of your tithe, you have your offering, you have your, you have your thanksgiving, whatever you have, our pay bill number is, is on the screen as you see. Kindly do so and God will bless you abundantly. Let us pray. Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you, Jehovah God, this evening that you have given us, Lord, the opportunity even to see and even hear your word. The power to hold on cometh from you. That Heavenly Father, give us the anointing that gives us the capacity, the ability to endure, that we are able, Father, to come through all this. We want to thank you, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, this evening. Bless every listener, bless every congregant of this church. Bless everyone on this earth, Jehovah God, for your blessings. And indeed, Father, we trust that God, in every situation, Heavenly Father, you shall fight on a behalf, you shall give us the ability to endure, you shall give us the, the ability to be courageous, and God, we shall give us the, the faith to believe in your promises, O Jehovah God. We bless you, Heavenly Father, and them that are in the sick in the hospitals, O Lord, them that are sick in the homes, Jehovah God, how we pray, Heavenly Father, this evening, God, stretch forth the hand of healing, God, and touch each and every sick person, Jehovah God, and deliver them from any kind of bondage. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray and believe. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.